Hey there, Gamma Obscure here, continuing Ocarina of Time. We are in the Lost Woods. Everything is different. The forest is overrun by monsters. And just... I don't know. We gotta go talk to Saria and see what the hell's going on here. So, the way I like to go through the Lost Woods as an adult, because, like, the music is just what it is. So if you, if you notice, like, the center of this tunnel, it's much lighter in color. Whereas the center of this one, like, really the whole thing's just pitch black. So the one that's totally black is the way to go. And, who is it? Is this Midol? It's Midol! Hello! What are you? What, what am I? What, what do you mean, what am I? It should be, who, who are you? So he's mad. We, we have clothing like his, but he knows... He knows what's up. You know, n n only people sorry you know get to go through, so we'll play her song and prove that we're her friend. I mean, it isn't like you could just hear this song and learn how to play it yourself, but, I mean, we'll just gloss over that detail. So, surely she taught it to us. I mean, she actually did. So, one once we prove that we know her, he trusts us. And it's like, now he kind of, like, I remember him. Yeah, the guy that murdered the Deku tree. That's me. So yeah, so just go through wherever wherever the middle doesn't turn lighter as you start walking towards it, that's the way to go. And then I think once you get to the end, like... I'm not sure if it does that, so here we go. Did we go- No, I messed it all up! Doggone it! Doggone it, how did I let that happen? So maybe... Why does the rooster keep crowing? I keep hearing that. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, that must be Kajiro then. He's only crowing... Because we're by the guy that wants him. Like, this is... This is the brother of Anju. So we'll show him... Kajiro... What is... Is he okay? Do you need an ambulance, sir? What the hell? You... You must be a nice guy. Must be. Please, Mr. Nice Guy, please. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. So we have to deliver this stuff to the old hag in the potion shop. This will... What is he doing? This will disappear if you take two... Oh, no! This is gonna be on a time limit. Now we're on a time to fetch quest. Shit, so we gotta- we have to abandon- We have to abandon checking out the sacred forest meadow. Cause we've just taken on a different responsibility. I just gotta hope I find the way out of here real quick. And hopefully... Hopefully our pony is still... Waiting for us outside here. I can't remember if a pony... Like, despawns. After a while, it doesn't really matter because it, wherever you are, if you play this song, it just shows up. I mean, as long as you're in the Hyrule field. You know, or like, not in an interior part of the game. Dude! Really? Don't just run into the cliff. So I don't know how long Epona will stay somewhere that you leave it if you walk away for a long time. Because like, as far as I know, like in Tears of the Kingdom... And possibly Breath of the Wild, I'm not sure. I've not played Breath of the Wild since, like, 2018. But, like, in Tears of the Kingdom, your horse just stays put forever. It seems. So, would you stop? Please, please, I want to get off. So we gotta find the potion shop here. Try and get up the hill. Link's not the most fleet of foot when going uphill. As it turns out, so we're in K Carico. Let's get to the potion shop. I'm really hoping that like we don't end up with more timed stuff here, because I really do want to go see what's up with Saria and the forest meadow and this and that. So I don't know, we'll just see. So here's the potion shop. But that's not an old lady. He doesn't want the mushroom, does he? No, I didn't think so. Oh yeah, we can sneak around back. That's right. Oh, okay. It, all right, it's all coming back to me now. Then we have to run up the stairs, and like the granny potion shop is in here. There we go. It's a different potion shop. I mean, it looks like it doesn't work here. Well, then just talk to her. Sniff, sniff, sniff. What a mysterious smell. You must have something. Oh, now she wants it. Okay. That bomb! He had to go into the forest. I see. That bomb! Hey, give it to me now! Alright. She's a very demanding 
crabby old lady. What's going on here? If you see that fool, give this to him. It's the strongest medicine I've ever produced. Will not work on a monster. Oh. Alright. We got an odd potion. You don't know what's going on between this lady and that guy. But take it to the Lost Woods. Hopefully this isn't timed. No medicine that can cure a fool. I guess that's true. Alright, sweet. This isn't timed. Okay. So that's nice. I mean, we're heading that way anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter if it's timed or not. So I guess we'll just see you back in the Lost Woods. Alright, we are back. We're back. We got the medicine for the guy. Wait, where is he? Now we got a little girl here. That guy isn't here anymore. Where'd he go? Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Everybody will become a Stalfos? Everybody's Stalfos. So he's not here. Well, the Stalfos should be here. Do you want the medicine then? Wait, does she... does she want the medicine? They become a Stalfos. Everybody's Stalfos. He's not here anymore. Only his saw is left. Hee <laughs> hee. That medicine is made of forest mushrooms. Give it back. Yeah, sure, whatever. Alright, so we have we have a poacher saw. The young punk guy left it behind. Am I going to be two? I don't know. Am I gonna turn into a Stalfos? I hope not. I mean I was like I don't know if I was born in the forest, but like I'm of the forest. I know I'm not actually a Kokiri, but I mean I lived here like the first 10 years of my life. That's got to count for something. Anyways, with that out of the way, we can now finally go check out the Sacred Forest Meadow. And I think on this last screen, you just go up because then like you leave that box in the bottom right like the map. No, you must have to go right then. All right, we'll see you there and see if that works. Yeah, I think on this last screen, we have to leave towards the top of the box. There we go. All right. We've made it. Uh-oh. From here on, we'll be going through some narrow passages. If you take it slow, maybe you can sneak up on some enemies. Use Z-targeting, blah, 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 blah. Yes. Okay, Navi. Navi, I get it. Okay, please. 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 Yes. Okay, can I just play the game? Make sure you have your hook shot equipped here, though. That's quite important. And just hit him from behind, and you'll be okay. Because, like, what she wants you to do is kind of, like, sidestep, you know? And it works, like... I love, I love the way you hit him and, like, the, you know, their feet go out from underneath them. Shit! That guy could have totally caught us off guard here. Alright. We're doing okay. This bit's not nearly as bad, I don't think. And, like, if you trigger their rage, all they do is rush at you. It's not... It's not like they catch you when you go back to the beginning or anything like that. Ugh! Ouch. Yeah, I mean, you still don't want it to happen. But that's really all it is. And I got five rupees out of the deal. Oh, alright. Dude, you gotta hit him in the butt. You can't hit their arm. Now this last one... You know, like, he's just swinging the hammer, so just, like, stand somewhere, and then just kind of zigzag around, and you'll be okay. I don't think there's another one of those. So I think, I think we're in the clear here. And here we are, we're back to the Sacred Forest Meadow, the spot where we learned Saria's song. There's the stump in which she sat. We're gonna go over and, and take a whiff. No, we're not gonna do that. Gam, just cut it out. What the hell, man? What's wrong with you? God. Sheik is here, though. The flow of time is always cruel. Its speed seems different for each person, but no one can change it. Like, it actually gets into some pretty deep and heavy stuff here. You know, like, memories do change with time, though. Because, like, your memories... You know, they... they like, what you remember most certainly can change over time. You know, it's not a perfect recollection. You know, and what you think you remember... 
I mean, it's just... Like, I get what he's trying to say, but... You know, memories aren't perfect. They're just not. And I mean... You know, in Memento, the movie Memento, there's a really good quote about it. I don't know word for word, but if you've seen the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's a damn good movie. Cammy, I'll see you again. So we've learned the menu at a forest, and these songs are really handy because we've got these pedestals here. You know, these little raised platforms, I guess. It's not really a pedestal, it's more of a platform. And like, you know, it's got this medallion looking thing. All these songs will warp you to that platform, so it's really nice. Yeah, and this is why we couldn't get in here without the hook shot. And is there a skull out here, or are they all... I think they're all in here, because this is like the official start of the forest temple. And we get attacked by some some little mini sifts here. You know, there's... I, I just, I hate... You know, I know these dogs are trying to kill me and stuff, but like, there's just something about... Something about hurting a dog, you know? And it's not a dog, it's a wolf, but I mean, still, would you please attack me so I can do something here? Oh, you can just hookshot him. Well, that makes this exponentially easier. Well, assuming you can, like, corner him or something. Maybe not, I don't know. Just whatever. Come on, dude. Attack me, please! I don't know if I have to kill- I think I do. I think if you don't kill these, like, a, there's a chest with a key in it. No, that would've showed up anyways. Alright, whatever. So... The cool thing is you can, like, hookshot onto the, the the vines. Assuming- man, this thing really has shit for reach. I forgot how pathetic... ...its reach was. Hopefully we get an upgrade at some point in the future. Because this thing leaves a lot to be desired. And I see and hear a Skulltilla right over here. I just hope I don't accidentally latch onto the vines. I guess if I Z-target it, I won't have to worry. And I think... I think that's number 20. Is that number 20? It is. We can go cash in that reward. And it, it turns out the chest is just here no matter what. But I can't reach it from there. We gotta stand over here. Actually, I think I might be able to just jump across, but whatever. Whatever, let's just do this. There we go, we get the key. I mean, we're officially in the forest temple, but... ...really not in, like, the real part of it. Although, this doesn't need a key to open. So, we'll just get in, like, the first big room. It'll show us something neat. And I think we'll call it a day. Well, maybe not. We got a little bit of time, I think. Or do we? No, because this might take a bit. Yeah, we'll just watch this play out. This is kind of cool. I love this temple. It's got the best t best temple music in the game, in my opinion. Yeah, you got these four ghosts. And, you know, they disappear. To, like, each corner of the room. And, you know, now it's dark. The elevator went away. And it's just like, well, shit, now what? Well, we'll have to figure that out next time. Hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.